and welcome back to Let's Play Undertale, episode 8. Anyways, he's you. That's gonna be disappointed in me. Join the club, friend. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and... My friend, Quan, you will remain stagnant. What are you saying? I've never seen anyone say we're a loser. Let's be friends. Really? You wanna be friends with me? Well then... I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we? we haven't even had our first date, and have already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to get people off of puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. Hereby I grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. You writing the sound? And when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's a magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power, and those monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Each exit, you have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's become Yoshi. Anyways, I think I'll take him up on the offer. After I save the game. Oh, there he is. Okay. Actually, I have a better. Well, oh. oh, traveler, how can I help you? Wait a second. Do you uh, say no? Um, I think bicycles would be um better. I know. Come again sometime. Cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bunny. Yields 22 HP. Cinnamon roll in the shape of a bunny. Bicycle. There's only yields of any tree. It's a two pronged popsicle, so you can eat twice. So I search it, yeah. Actually, I think we're fine. Because remember, you can reapply the bandage or whatever to get like 10 HP, and then I think it continually gets worse and worse, but you know, it exists. So you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. Hey, say so you take you someplace really special? I like to spend a lot of time. Grillbies? Apparently not. My house! That was fast. What the hell's going on up there? It's a. Oh, it's a Papyrus is a joke book. Take a look inside. In a bit. Welcome to saying, uh, scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. A boomerang or a controller over there? It's a joke book. Take a look inside. It said a joke book was a quantum physics book. Look inside. It said the quantum physics book was another joke book. Look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Is that a reference to any specific thing about quantum physics? Hey, you touch the couch, it makes a jangling sound. Found a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. It's 20G. I believe this is yours. Oh, that TV's way bigger than my TV. Oh. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. It's just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Huh. 
It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. All right. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. This is my brother's pet rock. <coughs> just forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibilities. It's covered in sprinkles. Pretty sure that's not good for it. That's a trash can. Uh, feel free to visit any time. Alright. Ah, interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Now the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. That contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. My brother always goes out to eat, but uh, recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche. Filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. I don't know what that is. Is that like a filled crepe or something like that? Impressed? I increased the side of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Like a look-see. Oh, shoot. But this dog is everywhere. What? Catch that meddling canine. Pretty sure that's copyright. Curses! <laughs> oh, you know, that was a trauma. Sans! Stop playing my life with incidental music. Forget it. Ah, classic image. That always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. Seems to be on fire down there. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Yeah, sure. Wow. Wow, this hits me with many fears of what I could have been. Hey, those are all the attacks I use on you. A lot of them have, like, chunks of heart on them. Yeah, Reza. It was like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Wow, I used to have a computer tower and computer... I used to have a computer and a t tower just like this back in, like, 2006. Internet, I'm quite popular there. <laughs> you have no idea, mate. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame is a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona by sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Why do people not care, like, comic scenes? There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. In the closet? Sure. Those are hung up neatly inside. I just take my clothes and I just put it in, uh, drawers. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Stuffy Bummy. Banning always gets me. And that flag needle. Undyne Fennin at the Bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> I mean, actually, that's kind of inverse, isn't it? Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long hallway. Wind in my hair, sun my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. Who said I cruise while I snooze? Do you need sleep? So, um, have you seen everything? Do you want to start the date? Uh, of course. Hey, right. dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our date. <clears throat> I've actually never done this before. Don't worry, neither have I. And don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. My god, he's right. I snagged an official dating rule book, for <coughs> rule book from the library. Alright, have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating hub. Oh my goodness, it no. Oh my goodness, it actually knows the time. It knows that it's Monday, it knows that it's nighttime. Knows that there's dogs lurking. 
It knows that there's a lot of crime. Wow. There's an egg. <laughs> uh, reel it in. Also knows that, that there's a terrible crisis of population right now. Except there isn't. I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, asked him on a date. Ahem. <clears throat> Newman, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Absolutely. Really? <laughs> what well, wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. <coughs> Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care and realize this game actually has a lot of dialogue and might not be great for my voice. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Papyrus, you read me like a cookbook on spaghetti. <laughs> Wait, I'm not gonna kill me. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No, your dating power? Oh, it's 9,000, my friend. It's over that. I just know references. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Don't think you best of me yet! I, the Great Papyrus! have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you said is invalid. This day won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret, that that won't happen. <laughs> cool kicks. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Is there a secret in my legs? Ah, just hard work and perseverance. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No! I must resist. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Extra tip. Oh, cool, the articles can be improved this way. I see, I see. You like caressing my bicep with a floating heart, but who doesn't? My hat. My hat. My hat! Yeah! <laughs> Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Alright. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Take a small bite. Face reflexively scrunches up. <laughs> the taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Uh, no! I can't do shouts. Huh. Go right in there. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake, human. I want you to be happy, too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. Hi, Papyrus. Hi. Um. Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? I think it's a spaghetti, actually. Ah, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. No. The first time I ever loved someone, I got rejected. Romantically, I mean... I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me. Uh, well, I flirt with everyone, apparently, in this in this game. That I was supposed to go on a date with you, and on the date, things would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper. Into your intense love for me? A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, 
Wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. Oh, please. Don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no. That's not true. Uh, at least he knows what's true. I'll help you settle, settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> well then. I'm not crying, I swear. Now, let me just say, I'm so happy that I decided to do this. Even though I know what's happening and all that stuff, I can just get into the game. And you just kind of see like a skelly face, like, here. Like the teeth and then like the eyes and the nostril. I wonder if that's intentional or just like, or that's supposed to be like a snowflake pattern and just incidentally looks like that. Hmm? I guess this is a swampland. You know what? I kind of want to go back to tour. Uh, I kind of want to go back to Toriel. Uh, you know, the rune door and be like, Hey, Toriel, guess what happened? I made a friend and stuff like that. Just do that throughout the entire game. But, I mean, I literally could not inspect the door, so... Waterfall, I barely know anything about it. I'll do my best to inform you. Makes sense. Oh, that gives my life validation in explaining that flower. No one can know. Oh, hey, it's you. Is the thing... Oh, shit, it changes. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her, too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey! I don't tell my parents I'm here. Huh. Hey, brother, there's a station here. Yes. He means two stations at once. Amazing, isn't he? He sacks off twice as much as normal. Do I want to... Every single room, do I want to call Papyrus? Okay, I'm ready when you are. Is it? It seems to be two. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. Oh. Oh, I guess it because I talked to him. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Yeah, it does. Any <laughs> sense? What? Haven't you seen the guy with two jaws before? Fortunately, two jaws means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to grill. Please want to come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Hey, but I have a oh, never mind. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. Yeah, as I think in a brunch. Yeah, get comfy. Are you kidding me? Oops, so watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyways, let's order. What do you want? I'll take a burger. Hey, right, that sounds pretty good. It'll be. I have a double order burg. I guess you would cook back there. You come in your head. So what do you think? Uh, my brother. He's so cool. Of course he's cool. It'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. You know, you take that thing off if you absolutely had to. Oh, and that's why he did, the, did it with the day. Oh, well. At least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? I actually don't like condiments and stuff. More for me. Oh. 
Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. Not the next day, she woke up and the sun was still waiting there. In his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Yeah, I want to ask you something. Oh. I'm sorry that I do this, but, um, the amount of times I can runescape quests and stuff where it ended up going on for, like, an extra ten minutes because dialogue wouldn't stop and stuff like that, um, especially here, you know, we'd be talking for another, like, five minutes, so. I don't know, um, so I'm really sorry that I cut this off in the middle of dialogue, but it's just become a thing that I do now, so. I guess that's going to be it for this episode, though, so. If you enjoyed this video... You know what to do. See you.